Hi everyone, this is Spencer from MemberPress. In this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a Sandbox account in PayPal. Please note that I'm going to be setting this up as a PayPal standard gateway, but the same instructions will apply to both Express Checkout and Payments Pro. The first thing you're want, going to want to do is log in to developer.paypal.com because that's where we're going to create these Sandbox accounts. Once you're logged in, navigate to the dashboard then Sandbox, and then Accounts. Here you'll notice that PayPal has auto-created for you two Sandbox accounts already, but these will only appear here once you've verified your email with PayPal. You can see that one is a business account, which is for selling the memberships, which will then be replaced by your real account after you're done testing, and the other is a personal account, which will be used to purchase the memberships. Please note that with both of these pre-created accounts, you'll need to set passwords for both of them. To do this, please click on the drop-down arrows here and here. In this case, I'm just going to set this one for my facilitator. You can do so by clicking on that down arrow, and then Profile, and then a pop-up will appear where you'll be able to change the password like so. Once you've entered in your password, simply click Save, and then Close. Now I'll pause the video and I'll update that for my personal account as well. Okay, so now that we've done that, these accounts are ready to use, ready to sell, and ready to buy. This will then allow us to fully test the registration process with MemberPress using PayPal. For this video, I'll be using the accounts that PayPal generates for me, but if you would like to create a new Sandbox account, you can do so by clicking the blue Create Account button at the top of the page here, and then fill out all the information asked for. For the most part, the information is optional, but let me point out a few things. First, you have to select if you want this to be a personal or a business account. Remember that you'll need both to fully test your setup. Next, for the personal account that you create, you have to enter in a PayPal balance to ensure that you have the funds to purchase the membership. Just set it to some high number like $100,000 or something, but the number can't be higher than $10 million. I know, what a bummer. For all the other settings, you can just leave them how they are. And once you've entered them, this Create Account button will be clickable, and you'll be able to create that account. But remember that for this video, I'm simply going to use these default accounts that are here. Now that we've done that, we're going to set up a PayPal gateway on my test site so that I can test the registration process and see what users should see after they have an active subscription on my site. So we're going to go to the WordPress dashboard, Member Press, options and then once in the options tab or options page we're going to click on the payments tab and then this plus arrow to create a new gateway remember that I'm creating a PayPal standard gateway so I'm going to select that and now that I've done that this information over here is going to update accordingly now I'm going to give this gateway a name and I'm going to now enter in my primary PayPal email. This is found in developer.paypal.com. It's the business account here. So I'm going to simply click on this so that I can easily uh, copy and paste what is here over into my options here. Now I'm going to enter in my API credentials to use advanced mode in PayPal standard which will allow me to pause, resume, and cancel all of my user subscriptions directly from MemberPress. These are found in the same place as I was before, only you need to click on API credentials. So you can just easily copy and paste these in. But make sure that you click advanced mode first and then enter them in. Now that I've entered in the API credentials, I'm going to click the use PayPal sandbox checkbox here. If you don't check this, then MemberPress will recognize this account as a live account and will cause an error when you check out because this is a sandbox account that we're using here. Now I need to go in and update my return URL and IPN URL. I will do this from sandbox.paypal.com for the same business account to do so. Please note that this is not to be mistaken with developer.paypal.com or paypal.com, but sandbox.paypal.com. We suggest logging in from an incognito window into sandbox.paypal.com because otherwise you may have issues while still being logged in to another paypal.com, another one of paypal.com's domains. 
So I'm going to log into Sandbox from here, and then I'll be able to update that information. Once you log in, you'll notice that the setup for PayPal Sandbox is very similar to the old way that PayPal used to look. For some reason, they haven't updated it here yet. But in any case, the place, the place that we're going to go is Profile and then My Selling Tools. Here we'll be able to enter in that return URL and the IPN. Let's start with the return URL. We're going to go to Website Preferences and then click Update. Here is where you're going to enter in that return URL. So I'm going to go find that right now. And it's this URL right here. You can simply click this button to copy that over. And then I'm going to paste that in here. And now you need to enable or disable a couple of settings. First, you want to make sure that you set auto return on. That will make it so that users are redirected to your thank you page after they purchase. Next, you want to make sure that you set payment data transfer on as well. And lastly, you want to make sure that encrypted website payments is set to off. Once you've done that, you can simply click save. And now we're going to go update my IPN. Same thing, I'm going to go to profile, my selling tools. Only this time I'm going to go to the instant payment notifications found here. So simply click update. And then I'm going to go get that from my test site. This is the PayPal IPN URL. Click copy and then I'm going to come here to choose IPN settings enter that in there and then make sure that I enable the IPN messages and click save now that I've done that I'm nearly done I simply need to come in here and click update options for this payment gateway now one last note before I move on when you're ready to go live you'll need to update all of the information here in your member press options and in the payments tab or create a new option for live payments to reflect your live PayPal account information such as the business email and your IPN and return URL. I'll provide links at the bottom of this page for our various instructions for setting up a live PayPal Express checkout gateway, PayPal Standard and PayPal Payments Pro gateways. Now I'm ready to test this out. So I'm going to open my site in the incognito window and navigate to my site's registration page. And once there, I'll fill out all of the needed information and then go through the registration process. All right, so I filled out all the needed information here. And you'll notice that here is my new gateway that I just created. When I click sign up, I'll be taken to PayPal's page where I will be required to first log in as my personal account and then purchase. So remember, you're going to want to enter in your personal account information here and then click the login button here. Once you've done that and logged in, you'll be taken to a page where you're required to review the payment and then if you agree to it, click the agree and pay. After I do this, I'll be sent to a, com a brief confirmation page that PayPal has set up, which will then redirect me to my site's thank you page. Okay, so as you can see here, I've been redirected and I'm just going to go to my account page so that you can see this user's subscriptions and transactions as they were set up. So if I navigate over here to the subscriptions page, I'll be able to see an active subscription. You can see that's yes for active. And under payments, I'll be able to see the associated payment with that subscription. Now if I come over here to my admin, I'll be able to see the exact same thing. This way you can verify that it really did work, in addition to checking in your PayPal Sandbox account as well. So you can see here's that and it is yes for active and if I click on view transactions then I'll be able to see that same exact transaction that I saw before that is associated with this subscription. So there you go. That's all you need to do to create and use a Sandbox account to test your registration process in MemberPress. Thank you.